Hi and welcome to this brief review of Alchemy Synth Mobile by Camel Audio. So Alchemy Synth is basically a sample-based uh, synthesizer, uh, which is uh, quite popular in desktop environments, both Mac OS <coughs> X and uh, Windows. And uh, uh, Camel Audio has released a version for the iPad, well, for iOS 5, but mostly for the iPad. Um, I will walk you through the most important features uh, offered by Camel Synth. I will just say in the first place that it's um, available for free in the App Store, the basic version. Then you have uh, from this menu here, uh, you have an option to upgrade to the Pro version as well as several uh, sound libraries with uh, all sorts of different patches. So I would uh, I will start this walk walkthrough by uh, highlighting what in my opinion is the most important um, characteristic and uh, feature of this um, tool, which is the uh, you know ability to get uh, in a very um, smooth manner um, several different presets per patch. Let's just say you have this matrix here where I'm sliding my fring finger across. Uh, you can see the cursor moving. And each of these numbers indicates a different preset. Now the funny thing, uh, besides having eight different presets uh, per patch, is that um, uh, while sliding from one preset to another, uh, all the intermediate values are also, um, let's say, uh, or will enable you, uh, rather, to get uh, different um, uh, parameters and therefore to obtain different sound properties. So, for instance, with this very patch, I have started uh, the tutorial or the review with. As you can see, by moving it across the XY pad, across the different patches, the values the parameters are changing gradually and therefore I obtain different sound properties. So this greatly enhances and expands the uh, audio possibilities of each patch. Um, I must say that at this point in time you won't be able to import your own material, your own samples. Uh, you can only edit or I would say you can only play with uh, the presets available per patch. Obviously that instead of using the main uh, preset, preset switcher here at the very top, I can play with these um, XY pads for morphing this one I'm using right now, for instance. Okay. And at the same time, since uh, we are talking about a multi-touch device, which is the iPad in this case, um, I can also play with a couple of other parameters. On the along along um, XY axis as well. So as you can see, uh, you get uh, plenty of flexibility even the wealth of sounds from one single patch. Uh, by default, uh, Alchemy Synth comes equipped with um, um, a variety of um, relatively decent um, factory patches, except for those uh, which try to mimic uh, acoustic instruments, which in my opinion are extremely bad. I will give you just a brief example here, the, what they call the desert guitar. As you can hear, it sounds nearly like a, 
like an 8-bit sample. Those of you acquainted with the good old uh, fast tracker times might recognize the ringing effect. So it's definitely not good. Nevertheless, as again, as we move to the next preset across the preset grid, it starts to get quite funky actually. It has some gating effects and so on, but in any case, the point is that it's nowhere near um, iKey multimedia sample tank when it comes to the quality of the source material, uh, at least as far as acoustic instruments is concerned. Now, uh, moving on to the mm -mm, pads, let's go down here. Um, well, the factory pads, they could be better, of course, but considering that they are provided free of charge, The quality is actually quite acceptable. So, uh, just another example here. Lost Souls, uh, let's see, seismic events here. There's a sort of edgy, unpleasant clipping to this sound. Which, uh, in, you know, for, let's say, industrial experimental music, might be great, actually. Uh, but, uh, well, this is what you get in the free version, basically. Uh, a bunch of patches and presets to play around with. Okay, here we have a relatively decent pad. So you can get a major and minor automatic um, chords, uh, and the only thing you have to do really is to press the bass note. So earlier on I've tried with the E, uh, note, and I'll try it, let's say, with uh, F. As you can see, um, one of the greatest advantages of this um, XY matrix at the very top, when you change from preset to preset, is that it allows you to create evolving phrases with, by just pressing one single note. You already have a lot to play with. So moving on. Um, it also comes equipped with a um, recorder, so that you can record your loops and then uh, bring them from here. Uh, you can bring them through audio copy-paste, because it implements the audio copy-paste standard. Uh, you can bring your phrases straight into a DAW inside the iPad itself. I would recommend, you know, my favorite one by a long shot is um, Meteor Multitrack from uh, Four Pockets. So when you record the phrase, uh, you have this uh, loop selection here, which works pretty much like a metronome, uh, although mm, it gives you a more realistic idea in terms of um, the kind of uh, rhythm structure you are working with. So in that concern is obviously better than a metronome. Um, when you uh, copy paste the sequence or the phrase to a DAW, the loop itself, the support loop, will not be imported. 
Uh, when it comes to uh, tempo definition, it supports tap tempo. Although um, the tempo you define by tapping will be overridden by uh, whatever support loop you will choose to lay your synth phrase. Um, in that concern, then you would be somehow limited to the uh, array of choices provided by the default loops library. In any case, as you can see, there is a varied selection and wide selection of styles here to choose from. Um, now, limitations. Um, as of now, as of version 1.1.11, um, as you can see here from this menu, uh, Alchemy Synth implements uh, MIDI, um, Core MIDI, I believe, and Virtual MIDI as well. I am more interested in Virtual MIDI than in Core MIDI because um, I do most of my stuff nowadays on the iPad itself. Um, virtual MIDI, nevertheless, and I'll turn it on here quite quickly. You can choose, you know, the level of resources used. So I'll go to Medium. In an iPad uh, one, you will have it a lot harder to play with. Uh, virtual MIDI because it's uh, resource intensive. In any case, at this point I have virtual MIDI turned on. Then I could open an application like um, um, Genome MIDI Sequencer and I would be able to sequence uh, the synthesizer from there. Now there is an important limitation here is that from this menu, as a, as a matter of fact, nowhere in the application there is an option to actually um, choose the input media channel. So that's, in my opinion, a, a great uh, 